Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Shop My Stash. Here we are the last week of January going into February and it is time to start another week, pick out new makeup. I skipped Shop My Stash last week just because I had a couple of reviews for you, um, but we're back at it this week and so let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so... I'm trying to think if there's anything up here I want actually, and there is. I was watching a YouTube video the other day and somebody mentioned this one and I was like, I think I kind of forgot I had this one. So I think I want to go in with this palette this week. You know, now that we're going into February, I love doing the whole romantic pink, um, just romantic looks, I guess you could say. And so I want to start off the month of February with this palette because it is perfect for those kinds of romantic looks. So we're going to have this as palette number one. Now, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I really want anything else from up here. I don't think I want a um, highlighter palette or anything. I don't know, it might change my mind. So we'll come back to this in just a while. Um, you know what, the pastel, um, this pastel palette may be good for this week as well. I think I will. Let's use this because this has like soft pastel colors, hence the name obviously, <laughs> and we can pair it with this one for nice soft dreamy looks. Notice how I embellish. <laughs> nice soft dreamy looks. Okay, here we are for highlighters. Let's go ahead and pick this out. Now, because I have that pastel look, it makes me want, you guys know what I really want to get. I want to get the Lunar Glitter Drops by Cover FX because I think they would be the perfect base for highlights like this. Um, Ugh, yes, makes me really want that. But okay, total distraction, total side note. Um, I think that, you know, I think I want to, so I watched a Jaclyn Hill video the other day and she used this and it kind of piqued my, it made me want to wear this again. So I'm going to take that out. Um, so it was the video where she was doing the like um, glowy skin uh, makeup routine and I just learned so much from that video. I just have to say ever since then I kind of uh, started incorporating some of her tips from that video and my foundation has been nothing but flawless. It's been very impressive. So I highly recommend her video um, on that just because you can learn quite a bit. Um, I think I do want to wear one of these Topaz Flashes Gilt Champagne Flat. You know what? Let's try one of these. These are those um, Becca, um, what are they called exactly? It is the Champagne. Okay, light. Uh, the Light Chaser Highlights. These went on sale. They were limited edition. They went on sale for like $17. Um, and I will trash this box. There's no need to keep that. Um, one of y'all said that you're scared when you watch me open these things with one hand because it looks like they're going to fall and break. And I'm just going to tell you, I share that same sentiment. Every time I have to try and open one of these things with one hand, I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't just make a mess of this and break this. Okay, so these are really, really interesting. Um, they're not super, super like uh, disco ball glow, but they're very, very pretty enough for me. And you know, I like a really bomb highlight. So let's use this one. And I think we're good on highlight because there are plenty in here. I didn't even show the inside. Now this is a highlight um, and bronze palette. And so if you own Laguna a thousand times over, obviously Laguna is in here also. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see. There we go. Um, so just has Laguna, Casino, your standard, um, NARS bronzers, but it also has really beautiful highlights and they are so, so soft. So it's a good way to get like a good mix of shades that will be, offer a variety for the week, I guess you could say. And that's, that's, what makes palettes nice. Um, okay, we're done with that. That took long enough. Let's start speeding through this. Now we come to the blush drawer, the drawer I always have problems with, but I already know because I'm trying to start incorporating like romantic Valentine's looks, pink and all that, I think I already know what I want. Um, I want to use, I'm going to pull this one out in order to get this. Okay. Now, um, you know what? I'm going to grab this bad boy too. Okay. That was kind of easy. It was easier than usual. Um, hang on, having a little bit of 
operator error, as my husband would call it, because <laughs> I am just, oh my goodness, this is so frustrating. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so the Too Faced um, Sweethearts is the flushed, uh, I think it's, let me see, hold on. It's the Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush. And I love these because it gives you such a pretty, um, like a natural look. It's almost, um, not glowy, but luminous. And it's got the three shades in there. You can blend them together and create a really, really nice see. It's natural, but it does have that sparkle you can see. Um, so this is going to be perfect. And then I also picked a blush from the um, MAC Archie's Girls collection. And this is called Flatter Me. I love this one because it also is super, super natural. It's got these, um, it's a peach color. If I can get it, ever get it open, then I don't have to describe it to you. I can, you can just see for yourself. It's a peach color with darker hearts. So it really ends up just looking very, very nice, peachy and natural. Um, without being too faded because you've got those... Um, darker hearts in there um, but that's what that looks like it's got that peachy tone very very pretty and very ideal for what I'm looking for and I think I think I'm good with those two yeah I think I am um okay we're gonna leave it at those two let's move on um down here we don't really need anything um the blush I want to use is actually already on the desk, so we'll get to that. Um, as far as a highlight base, I think I do want to use something from in here, and I think I found it. Let's use Becca Opal. This is the liquid version. You could tell I am almost out of this, but this stuff is so good. So it really makes your highlight pop if you use it as a base. Um, I haven't used this Wet n Wild one in a while, and it makes me want to use it. I think I will. Um, this is one of their just, I mean, it's their everyday. It's not any kind of limited edi edition or anything. I have a hard time snagging their limited edition stuff. But this is the Mega Glow, and it is, let me see if I can see what, uh, okay, right there up at the top. Precious, precious Petals. That'll ever focus. There we go. We're going to take that too. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next drawer. I don't know if I want to take anything from the singles this week, quite frankly. Not really feeling much. Once we get closer to Valentine's Day, then absolutely I'm going to grab um, some of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. But for the time being, I think we're good. I don't really feel the need to pull any singles out. Um, let's come down to eyeshadow palettes. Now, we already have a couple um, because of the ones we picked from the top. But I also want to try, so last week I was using the Violet Voss um, Laura Lee palette because I'm really interested in getting the, I think it's, is it the hashtag palette? It's the newest one that launched at Sephora with the pinks and the purples. And I just kind of want to remember why I love Violet Voss so much before I even order that one. And so I was using the Laura Lee, really, really came back to enjoying it. And I think this week I would really... Ugh like to use the ride or die if I can even get it out of here so hold on let's pull this bad boy out and let's use this this week as well so plenty to go with this week um, but here's the ride or die um, this really was a disappointment for me because as much as I love their formulation there just wasn't enough variety here for me to really consider it ride or die. There's just kind of like a lot of repetitive shades, like slightly darker, slightly lighter, just a bunch of oranges, a bunch of yellows, browns, which is great. But also I would have loved to have seen her incorporate things like the, a pop of color here and there to truly make it an overall complete palette. But anyways, I do want to use it so that I can truly remember why I loved Violet Voss before I plunk down the $45 for the new palette that is on Sephora's website. All right, so I know a lot of you have asked me if I'm gonna get the Decadence palette by Pat McGrath um, because I you know, have a couple of her palettes already. Um, and so I, um, so I'm kind of on the fence just because it's so expensive and I, I don't really know if I think they're worth it for the price. But I was watching Tara Baby's um, haul today and 
gosh, it looked nice. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, so that's that. There we go. We've got our Ride or Die palette by Violet Voss. So let me put these things over on the desk and then we'll pick out our boring stuff. Okay, now that we are over here back at our, um, at my little, at my desk, let's go ahead and pick out some stuff, um, for the week. Now, I am going to, I already know, for a primer, I do want to use the, um, Nivea Post Shave Balm. I really do like this. I think I love how it smells more than anything, but I really like that as a primer. And then, of course, after watching the, um, Jaclyn Hill like foundation glowy foundation um, video I have been non-stop using the fix plus this is one of the mini ones I got in the trio that released for the holidays um, I use this so I use I put my primer on and then I spray this before my foundation and oh my gosh it gives me the most flawless foundation ever so so impressed I'm glad that she put that video out there because it has changed up um, my foundation um, how it looks, my routine, all of the above. It's just, it's really great. Um, okay, for concealer, I already know that I want to use the, um, it's what I used today. This is so funny, these matchsticks, like, because they're magnetic, they end up sticking to this Huda <laughs> tin. Okay, so I want to use two things out of these matchsticks. I want to use the um, concealer and I want to use the um, contour stick because I just I love it it's so easy to blend out and for someone like me who doesn't really do contour a whole lot um, it really helps out so this is in the shade amber I don't know if it's yeah, it's upside down here we go so that's amber and then we have um, this is linen for the concealer and it's not the most full coverage concealer so if you're needing something super super um, like heavy duty this is not going to do it for you this is kind of it's I don't know, light to medium, I guess, coverage, but I don't, I mean, I do get circles, but not to where I need uber heavy, um, duty, and so, uh, so that's been working out pretty well for me. Okay, back to the normal stuff right here. I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs, um, uh, Tantastic, this is that limited edition coconut, um, bronzer for the week and then let's come over here and pick out our normal stuff which is going to be the Clarins Com Instant Comfort Lip Oil. Um, I am just, okay so I'll come to that in a second. Let me grab my spoolie because I always use that. Um, now I've been using the Goof Proof more than anything. I just love it so much that I think next time I do want to try the Anastasia Brow Definer, see how they compare. I think this one's a little bit richer in pigmentation because the other one you have to work at a little bit more but not, um, doesn't deter me to not want to get it. I do want to try it out. So I will use my Cabrow and Goof Proof as um, my brow products. And then um, obviously don't need that this week because we picked a different base for highlight. Take my uh, Inglot 77. And one of you recommended this little Essence brush. Where did it go? There it is. This liner brush, because I've just had a hard time finding a good liner brush, um, other than my Sigma one that's frayed and ready for the trash. So I'm trying this out. I'm not sure yet how I feel about it, but it is very small. Um, but just need a few more tries to see how I really do like it. But I do really appreciate the recommendation, especially because it was such a good price. I think that is it for there. Okay, now let's move on to lipsticks. So in keeping with the theme of like the soft pink romantic types, um, I do want to pick something along those same lines for lipsticks. So I am going to move on to my MAC lipsticks. I find that MAC lipsticks are perfect for that shade range. Um, and so let's go ahead and do MAC for the week. Now, one of the things that, um, so this MAC set that was for holidays had plenty of really good pinks, and I think I kind of want to just stick with this for the week, to be quite honest. Um, you've got really all different shades from the baby pinks. Um, see, this one's kind of a baby pink, which is perfect for what I am looking for. Um, all the way to, like, the richer, um, pinks, even into, um, more of, like, the magenta type. I think that was, like, kind of a magenta. Let me see, because I know there were a couple where the casing didn't totally match the... Okay, this is Rebel. So this is going to be more of a darker, like, 
almost purple type shade. Yeah. So that one, uh, unless I'm going for like a rebel Valentine's Day look, <laughs> that one won't get used. So I am going to end up using probably these four for the week. Um, and then which one's this one? This is, okay, this is flat out fab, but let's see. That's nice. I don't know if it's what I'm really going for this week. So, I've already decided I'm going to use these, uh, maybe these four. Let me see. This is mangrove. Okay, this is more of a coral, and I'm not looking for a coral this week. So, that's not going to be it either. We're going to use these first three. So, this one I already showed, um, which is called Party Commencing. That's that baby pink. Let's pull out the little darling. I love this one. This one's so perfect. And this is like a nude almost. This will work just fine. I'm okay with this. <clears throat> and then let's move on to this last one which is called Please Me. And this is also really, really nice, like nude pink. This is perfect. Now, there's one that I use every February, and it is the Viva Glam Gaga number one. So let's put that away. And let's see if we can find... Okay, let's come over here. I feel like my room has just gotten so cluttered. I just need to clean. Um, okay, so I don't see any Viva Glams in there. Let me come down here. So I do see a couple of Viva Glams. This is Viva Glam Nikki, which is also beautiful. And then Viva Glam Nikki 2 is like the lilac, which is so, so pretty. This one is so nice as well. So I may have to use this next week once we start getting a little closer to Valentine's Day. Um... This one is really nice. You know what? I don't want to use that one. I want to use Viva Glam Gaga. Let's move on to the other side. Okay, so coming over to the corner, of course, it'd probably be one of these. Um, no, that's Viva Glam Miley Cyrus. Ariana Grande. Okay, have you... Has it ever happen to you that like the one thing you want to use, the one thing you're looking for is the one thing you cannot find. I can't tell you how often that happens to me and it's so frustrating. Okay, here's Viva Glam Gaga. I found it. So I was about to say, all right, it grew legs and walked. Oops. Okay. This is Viva Glam Gaga and is probably one of my favorite lipstick shades of all time. I, this is actually a second two because I went through the first one and I loved it so much that I had bought a backup before it, you know, went away. I don't know. I may have to look one of these up on eBay or something. Because this, once this one goes away, I will be so sad. <laughs> so there we go. That's going to be, that's going to be my lipstick um, selection for the week. So let's put these bad boys back here. And I think that takes care of everything. Um... I am going, okay, let's pull out the shape tape in case we want to do a cut crease. We'll do that. And then I think we're good. <laughs> I'm not going to do any setting powder or anything like that this week. I will do my um, Marc Jacobs coconut setting powder. That's the one I just always use. I love it. Um, I think that's it. I think we're good to go. This is going to be the makeup for the week. Let's just kind of run down. No, I just... <laughs> How are we going to do it without foundation? Uh-uh. So, let's move over here. Probably one of the most important things, if not the most important. Okay. I think I'm going to use, for the week, the thing that I am wearing today. And it is the Marc Jacobs um, Remarkable. Hadn't worn this in a while because it's so heavy-duty full coverage and you have to go in with a light hand or you will look super cake-faced. But I used it because I wanted to test it out using the method that I, again, watched on that Jaclyn Hill video, and it was so incredible. So this is what we're using for the week. I actually don't need bronzer with this one. And so um, because of that, we're going to take out the bronzer from our... Um, from our collection here so I'm not going to need that this week okay so I think we're good as a quick rundown we've got primer the spray that we've incorporated fix plus we've got foundation we have got concealer contour slash bronze um okay come into here and use eyeshadow primer um 
just grab any one. This is a test one that I've been using. It's by Laura Mercier. It's okay. It's like a color correct. It's Eye Basics. Base for eyes. So we'll use that. That's what I have been using. It's been alright. I don't know. if I can't tell if it's making my eyeshadow crease or not, but I'll use up that little tube. Um, let's grab mascara. We'll need, obviously, eyeliner, coal eyeliner. I already have the gel liner up top. So, okay, awesome. So then we've got eyeshadow primer, eyeshadow palettes. If we want to cut crease, we've got blush, we've got brows, chapped lip <laughs> saving right there, mascara, liner, lipstick, highlight, of course. I think that's it. I think we're good. And final setting spray. If not, I am so sorry. I will figure it out tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this wraps up our Shop My Stash for the week. I hope you found it helpful. Um, I'm excited to be heading towards Valentine's Day. I love picking out makeup for Valentine's Day. I'll try to do a get ready with me for Valentine's Day here in the very, very near future. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. Take care, you guys. I hope you have a most wonderful week, and I will see you again very soon. Bye, everybody.